Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking, Divine Debut 11. I hope that you're all doing well. We just did The Messenger is Here and it speaks a lot about a twin flame connection, the ability to heal and resolve a twin flame connection and get out of narcissistic past cycles, stuck cycles, limiting cycles, relative to a twin flame connection in whichever way it has been affected by external circumstances, other people, other relationships, so on and so forth. What I didn't tell you is that we've done the individual signs for twin flame readings, twin flame soulmate readings for each individual sign, which we have uploaded those on Patreon so if you're a Patreon, hello Agapi, if you're a Patreon, you've got the 12 individual signs. If you're not a Patreon, you can go to our website, the link is beneath the uh, video, obviously, and purchase a one-off reading for your individual sign. I would suggest checking out your other placements as well. So the relative to Valentine's Day, 2024, Hello Agape, what a blessing you are. Relative to Valentine's Day, we've got a really good message, even though it's going to be uh, quite, quite a Valentine's Day, especially astrologically speaking. But I just wanted to take uh, three, three cards from the Mystic Moon Oracles, because remember, this is the twin flame love heart. Agape, don't drop everything, will you? No calamities on our table here, please. So let's see past, present and future, what the information is. What is the general look pertaining to these important relationships around Valentine's Day 2024 with Venus and Mars on Pluto. Venus and Mars connecting with Pluto. So let's see past, present and future Agape. Yeah. Let's have a look and see what is possibly going on. Remember, these are general readings. So you can get a sort of energetic idea of what's going on. But remember, even the individual signs, they're, they're still general readings as well for your sign. Of course, you can watch your sun, moon, your rising, your Venus placement, your Mars placement, and your north node. Mars is the divine masculine, or it's the power that you put in towards love. It's the energy that you use up, or it's your masculine side. Or it could be a particular masculine person that you're checking out their reading through your Mars placement in your chart. And the north node is destiny and fate for you. All right, so Agape, let's take the cards. <laughs> She's so cute, isn't she? Let's look at potential past. Remember, we've got a 20% off all readings, all love readings, but you need to get that discounted code if you email us at G Gmail uh, through Gmail. Divine Debut 11 at gmail.com. And the sale goes only until the end of Valentine's Day. So we've got free will in the past. In the now, we've got deception. And in the future, we've got purge, my goodness. Purge means obviously it's Pluto, it's metamorphosis. So relationships, obviously relationships that have been where someone's felt stuck, someone needed to get free, someone needed to free themselves, or they were just very cold, they were very detached, they feared deception, they feared third parties. But now there's some sort of a change in the near future with the purge, where there has been deceptive relationships, there will be endings, where there has been no freedom within relationships and there's only been deception again there's a possibility of endings 
where someone did not feel free to speak their truth, these relationships will end. For some, this is a metamorphosis where there's been deception. Someone's free now to speak freely, okay, to speak their truth. This very Aquarian energy. So we've got Aquarius, Pisces and Scorpio energies here. Let's see what's beneath the free will. We've got the Divine Masculine, someone that wasn't ready to commit, someone that's very free-spirited. That's why they were not being totally truthful. They were possibly unawakened to this. Well, the um, Agape, <laughs> the Divine Masculine, was unawakened, obviously, which is probably what they're changing. It, this is like someone not settling anymore not settling anymore. Uh, we've got the observer beneath here, which can speak to being checked out through social media and the internet. Um, we're going to be awakened to things that were held secret, secretive. Okay, and that's probably why someone was not acting, was not proactive. They feared an ending. They feared the intimacy they feared losing their freedom. <laughs> Come on, Agape. Come on, Agape. Come on, Agape. It's not sleep time here and it's not play time. And you've had your nails clipped, haven't you? Looks like there's going to be a little bit of calamity, surely, where love is concerned. Looks like Agape's nails are coming out, which means... A little bit of trouble where love is concerned just do take care check out the messenger that's just been uploaded there's a lot of messages there and Agape is usually very lovable it's just that sometimes when she's gonna fall asleep when she when she's in a sleep mode she doesn't want to be touched a lot so it's like okay everything's moving around the table so it's it's prey you know okay Agape, come on, darling. <laughs> Leave me alone, mummy. All right, Agape. Some some people are going to be are going to want to be left alone. It looks like on this Valentine's Day. I guess that they've got some wounds that they're needing to go through, some healing. Okay. So let's pick up these cards. Maybe that was your story. I want to take another three more cards. Remember, these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. What else will this Valentine's Day, what else will be birthed this Valentine's Day? The answer is no. For some of you, the door is closed. We've got family, we've got pride and ego, and we've got mirroring. Wow, okay, all right. Twin flame coming through, but someone's in a family connection. That's why they're coming through as very prideful, possibly also rebounding, possibly also not knowing whether they're ready to fight for this connection, and this could be on both your sides. That's why there's pause, there's, but there could also be release, a releasing of a cycle and possibly coming into balance remember the the swan in the messenger message serenity peace tranquility okay and you're possibly also from the same spiritual tribe that's for sure all right my baby all right my baby <laughs> you got your nail caught now in the tablecloth what are you going to do? Rip my tablecloth apart. You want to say hello to everyone? Hello. She's showing her teeth. Hello. And goodbye. Thank you all so much. I'm wishing you well. And Agape is too. Bye for now, everyone.